In the previous video, we configured streaming analytics wherein uh, we had input as event hub and then output as Azure Data Lake as well as the Power BI. And we configured that as well. So let us go back to portal, Azure portal, and then uh, ADL was what we configured and Power BI. Please note that when you click on authorize on Power BI, it's going to create a data set, streaming data set, as well as a table uh, in the Power BI. You can use any other account. It doesn't have to be the same account uh, for Power BI as well as portal.azure.com. Now let's, uh, let's enable this job and let's see what changes we need to make. Now, click on this edit query and you have to make sure that this query has been uh, property edited, properly edited. I clicked on the edit query and it came here. So it says input as the event hub and output as ADL and Power BI. You want to make sure that you write two different queries. The first one is, and the template is already given here um, in as an example. So select star into Power BI new one from the input. So whatever you get in input, just pass it on to the Power BI one, Power BI new one. Similarly for ADL, whatever you're getting in as a input, just pass it on to the ADL. That's it. Once you have done this, you can just start the analytics job. Please note that there are a lot of other variations you can have it in the query. In order to get that, click on this here and you would see a lot of examples for uh, getting this query and filter data. Once you are here, just click on start to get this running. Clicking on start will give you this and say start. It is starting the analysis job. You can see it over here. It's going to take some time to start. So I'm going to pause the video. Once you have the state change to running and please note that it took some time to bring that service up. So once you have it running, you are now all set to ingest data from the event hub as shown in the diagram. So event hub, streaming analytics, and Azure data link. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a Python code which is going to uh, emit data onto the Azure event hub. And then from there on, it's going to be processed. I'm not going to walk you through right now on the Python code, but I'll make sure that the Python code is available to you um, in a Google Drive link, which is going to be mentioned in the description section of the video below. Now, in the description section of YouTube video, you will have a Google Drive link. Click on that and you would get the, the Python code. So this is the Python code. Uh, just to quickly walk you through, here you would put your event name, this is service namespace, put your event name. Uh, shared access key, uh, you will get it from your event hub. Just for now, put root manager shared access, which is I think the same for all. And you have shared access key value. Please note that, do not try to use this because I'm gonna delete the service after this video recording. So you have events, shared access key, and the shared access key value. This is read.csv. I'm going to read this CSV file and I'm going to generate uh, this. Uh, this is a Python code, very basic. Uh, you probably have to change this as well to put your event hub instance uh, on this one. So uh, this is service namespace and this is instance which you have to change at two different places. Now let's kick off the Python job. So what the Python code is doing is, is emitting data uh, as JSON format. So this is one piece of data and this is gonna be captured by the event hub. Let me show you the event hub capturing these messages. So go to this my event 0625 and you can see a sudden bump in the message being processed. 
and you can see there are a lot of events coming in now let's take a look at the messages clicking on the messages tab you would see that these events are now processed now let's take a look at throughput uh, there would be throughput coming in uh, in a few minutes uh, very soon so you would see a throughput bump you have seen request bump you can see that and then messages obviously and throughput you would see a bump very shortly it's refreshing now once this is done that means this is event hub you would see that in from the service streaming analytics it would write it onto the Azure data lake based on this so you have messages over here via the streaming analytics the data is going to be written on Azure data lake let's see this these messages on the Azure data lake and then finally uh, we will see how to do Power BI real-time dashboards on this one the throughput is now showing up these are the messages being processed and you can see from here that uh, the files have been processed in the event hub and these are the files which you would see over here so you can see that uh, data lake has been written and uh, let's talk about uh, more on the so this is the file so many files have been written in the data lake now let's uh, enable the power bi stuff so let's focus on the power bi stuff for now uh, i'm going to go to the power bi and remember this was the streaming data set i'm going to go to the dashboard and i have created a dashboard my streaming dashboard uh, which is going to show you real-time sensor data and you can see that this instant temperature is changing as well as the humidity is changing and this is capturing the real-time data so you can see that how the data is coming in now let me quickly show you how to create uh, the dashboard in power bi in the next video using the streaming data set